It's the kind of beat to go. Today we're here with the the zombies are infected. Uh, now today I was thinking, let's just mess around with the zombies a little bit. It's been a while since Aftershock, I think. That's when the last time that we actually did play with them. But today I thought we'd just have some fun with them, mess around, try to grow the horde, you know. Just take out some cities for fun. Alright, so right now I do have my people searching those little convoys or drifting buoy, whatever you want to call those things. Just get me supplies. And right now I am just going to see where I want to go. Hmm. See if there's any guild raids going on. Anything? Let's see how Zombots is doing. It has been a while. Level 19. Pretty good. Pretty good. Looky there. 16,000 XP by my name. That's a winner. <laughs> Alright, so. I think we're going to take a look at Barcelona. I saw that earlier. There it is. Now. I haven't really attacked Barcelona before. I think I attacked it once, and right now I'm about 73. There you see Chief Matt. He's at 286 with 35th place. So we're going to try to catch up to him. That's going to be our goal. Let's get some attacks in see what we can do. See if we can pull out some wins here. Work our way up towards the top. All right, so we got a solid group set right now. I'm going to change my borrowed unit to the biohazard right here. Let's get to it. Does this have any water in it? It does. Gotta hydrate, guys. Hydrating is very important. It's a win. I'm just pulling random stuff off my desk right now. Yeah. That's right. Camo. It's a win. Alright, first things first. Say goodbye, everybody. Harbinger's coming in to blow you up. Mr. Steve, yo, girl. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> He's just going to town right there. Alright, so let's continue the theme of blowing stuff up, but this time we're just going to use biohazards. Solid, solid. I love it. And right over here, we're about to take out this group right here. I'm actually going to throw down some reanimator. A reanimator. Go get me some more drones. Right now I'm sitting about 83. Pretty good. I don't think it's too bad. Um, Alright, so right here, I'm just going to send some... Okay, so we managed to take out all those lumberjacks. So let's take out this researcher and then send the next harbinger right there. Boom. He's off. Ooh, there's snipers. Did they get him? Ha, <laughs> they missed him. They missed the harbinger. That's a win. <laughs> he just completely missed him. Sniper's no good right here. He doesn't even know what he's doing. He is a noob. Alright, so right now, we are just heading up, snipers doing their thing, have a couple drones, what do I want to do? Let's throw down the surprise little thing right there. I can never remember what those things are called. People, I, I've heard it multiple times, I don't remember what it's called. I never will. It's just the struggle. Alright, so took out one of the dead shots or whatever those are. Pretty solid win right there. We're sitting about 67 drones right now. I'm just going to drop the rest right over here and just kind of speed this up because we've got to take out those few snipers, and that is it. Mm. Nailed it. All right, so that's three stars, Barcelona. Let's see. I think we're sitting about about 103 on the leaderboard now. Ooh, and we leveled up. I love it. All right. Let's just keep going to town on Barcelona. Maybe this, this could be a pretty long episode if this is if I'm trying to get to 35. Just keep pushing as far as we can until I have no brains left. Might as well try that out. Uh, thought I had something, but I don't remember if I do or not. So I will not bring it up. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Hmm. All right. So I'm gonna start off right over here. Throw in a cesspool right here. Take out these outlaws. No big deal right here. Right there we go. Throw in a reanimator. Let these guys work on the hospital right now. Just let them do their thing, you know. And hopefully once we take out the hospital reanimator, we'll head right back over. Get me some more drones. And we're just going to continue on our merry way. Alright, so there are other hospitals right over there. But I'm actually going to just start a solid group right over here. Let's see. Alright, so they're going to be able to take out that lumberjack with no problems whatsoever. Next, I'm going to throw down, once we can get rid of this researcher or the whatever you want to call her. I'm going to throw down some of these legendary patient zeros. 
I'm going to stim up them right here, and they're just going to work on taking out those lumberjacks just sitting back there. Next, we got to take out these snipers in the commando. That's next. But right until now, we're just working on pushing up this area. We have 103 drones right now. It's a pretty solid number. I'm going to drop the rest of these drones right over here because we're going to have to start working our way towards the next hospital as our next objective. And I'm going to actually throw down this. My little drone. The drone geyser. The drone geyser. That's what it is. Yes, the drone geyser. I threw down the drone geyser right there. All right, and then Harbinger is just going to take out those guys right there. Cakewalk. No problem. And now we're just trying to work on our final little group right here. Just trying to work our way through this wall. Throw down a Harbinger right here. Blow up that wall. Boom. Goes that wall. Boom goes that wall. Anytime now. There we go. And I'm actually going to throw the rest of these cesspools right here. And we're just going to try to finish off these last group right here. Finish it off strong with these cesspools to clutch it out. Boom. Alright guys, so if you're seeing this, this is pretty much your first time playing with zombies. Um, I mean, really what you want to worry about when you're first starting off at least is make sure you keep your drones or have a reanimator of some sort or the infector because if you run out of drones, you're just done and you can't place any more mutated zombies and it's pretty much just game over from there. So definitely make sure you have a good amount of drones. You have a good squad of mutated zombies because say there's just this group that is just wiping you out. Say you have a machine gunner, it's just blowing you out. You're going to need a titan or a brute to take some of that damage so you can let your other troops to knock them out. So it's really just about getting this good balance of what you have with you, similar to the survivors, but when it comes to the zombies, it's just having this giant drone horde that you're just going to need to be able to control. And for me at least, I like just building the giant biggest horde I can possibly get. Because if there's no machine gunners, it's just going to be able to wipe through everything. Here, I'll show you on this next one. I'm just going to bring a lot of my infectors with me. And I'm just going to have this giant horde. And that's what I like doing. That's one of my strategies is just getting the biggest horde of drones because the drones are very powerful. So I really enjoy getting as many drones as I possibly can. So let me alternate, alter this group a little bit. So I'm actually going to bring this one cesspool, finish him off. He's almost done. Bring these infectors with me. Oh, I've got an aftershock. I'll bring him along in a minute. And I'm actually going to bring back this animator. Let's recharge him. Can I borrow one? No. All right, so here's what I'm going to have. That's what I'm going to bring. And I'll show you guys my favorite style of play, which is definitely just using the infectors and just going to town on everybody. It's it's just a lot of fun for me. Because <laughs> you just pretty much just wipe out everybody. But it can be troublesome when you have these guys behind the wall, like right here, because it takes a while for the drones to get through the wall, but they still dominate. So right off the bat, we're going to throw down a good chunk. I'm thinking about 64, just below, just over, just 65 drones right here. And they're just going to work on taking out these guys. Now, they're very strong, and they will end up taking them out. I mean, you may lose a lot in the process, but they're going to they're gonna be able to overpower these melee groups right here. Uh, run low on storage. This is going to be the last attack right here. I'm going to have to speed this up a little bit. But I'm going to throw down my reanimator. He's going to get me more drones. And since I did evolve him, I'm getting about five or six drones per, per survivor that's still alive. So since we're running low on time, I'm going to have to speed this up a little bit. So I'm going to throw down my patient zeros. Let's throw down just a large, large, large amount of drones. So as you can see, working on getting the biggest horde possible. Throw these cesspools in the back. Those reanimators are going to bring me some more drones for me. And by the hospitals, great, great, great source of new bodies. Because when you go towards the hospital, those inf those in reanimators or infectors, they're going to have a bunch of these like humans that like went down with the hospital. So as you can see, it's getting more drones, and it's adding to my count right here on the side as well. So we have one more hospital, one minute left. Let's just throw down all these drones right here. So as you can see, I got a pretty good following right now. Pretty solid. As you can see, it does take a little bit to get through the walls, but it slowly but surely makes its way through. So we got some snipers here, and we're running low on battery on the computer. Everything is just running low. What is up? Okay, 34 seconds. This is going to be a clutch rate if I can get through this. I don't know if I'm able to do it. So I threw it on the guy, drone guys are right over there. 17 seconds. Powering through. 9, 8, 7. I don't think we're going to get it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, that was close. Mm. All right, guys. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause it, and then I'm going to come back. So just give me one second. I'll be right back. All right, time out. Here we go. Clear the storage. 
plugged in my computer. We're good. We're back. And something that I actually realized while I was gone, while I was just clearing some stuff up really quick, was that the proletariat forums just recently went live. So if you guys want to drop by there, you can definitely go check it out, get some new info, learn some stuff. If you feel like it, if you want to go check it out, I actually posted a little bit on there. It's really nice, really well done. Thanks to Proletariat for getting an amazing forum up. Just going to get better, I'm sure, because it is still in beta stage. Still working out a few kinks, but it's amazing so far. I love it. All right, and then also, if you're not a player in the game, you're not you're not going to be allowed to post until you actually get an account for the game, which you have to make in game, like my account, Joey. I was just able to sign in with my email and stuff. So at the moment, you can't create an account and have it linked to your uh, game yet, but in the future, though, we'll have that added. But for now, if you can play, you can post. But if not, you can just view. But still, a lot of great content that's on there. You can still go and check it out. A lot of really cool. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to go check it out. I love it. It's awesome. Gordon did a phenomenal job. Plus, I'm sure, pretty sure someone else helped him out, but can't remember their name. Sadly. Ugh. The water. All right, so right now we're sitting about 44th place. Still work on our way to the top. Maybe we can try to get to the next tier. Let's attack a little bit more. I think we're about like 11 minutes, 10 minutes right now on the video. I don't want to go too long, but I may make it pretty long. Might be an extended video just so we can get to see how high, far we can go. So let's fill up that area. Let's get the animator. I'll take that. Except Barcelona. Now, back to the learning and teaching moments. Every map that you go to is different. They have different zombies, and Proletariat wants to. The game really just wants to challenge you in a different way, and the different way you're thinking and how you're going to use your troops. Now, for this specific example, um, since there are some walled people, a little bit high level, higher level melee trip troops, uh, biohazards are definitely going to help. But also something that could help is something like the spitter, the cesspool, things along those lines. They're going to snipe from long range and just help get those guys that are behind the walls or anything like that. But for right now, the outlaws aren't going to cause too much of a problem. I'm actually going to throw a biohazard right here in the back. It's going to start knocking those guys out. And I'm going to start a little group right over here of drones. They're going to start heading over towards those dead shots. They don't have a fast enough fire rate to take them all out. So it's going to be pretty quick if we can just get them there fast enough. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. And also, do we have some people over here? We do. All right, so let's throw some drones right there. Get some people going. Throw some animators down here. Get some more drones going. Boom. I love it. Look at that, Biohazard's actually doing something right here. Let's see if I can flare him over here. There we go, keep taking out that Lumberjack right there. Throwing out a large group right here. Titans up front, just because I felt like throwing them down because they look cool. Look at them, they're like little cone guys. They're sick. Alright, so let's see if there's anybody else hiding over here. Alright, so there's a hospital over there, so that's not too worried. Drone guys, they're with the Stim Z. Bang! It's too good. It is too good. Alright, so I'm gonna throw down 60 more drones right here. And the Sess, no, Sess, no, Puddler. The Puddler's up right here. Boom. Puddler's galore. Boom, boom, boom. The bang. Stim up the Puddlers right there. Just keep helping out, wiping out those lumberjacks like nobody's business. Researcher, you're next. Bop. Two stars. Just need to take out the hospital right here. Look how nice that looks. The design. Phenomenal. It's beautiful. Alright, so I'm just going to stim that up. Didn't even need to. Didn't even need to. Got that three stars. Whew. Solid right there. Solid win. Whew. Let's see where we're sitting. I think we're about 250? 280? Eh. Please. 250. 254. We're still working our way up. What's it going to take to get us to the next tier? So, 931 is going to get us to the next tier, and that is a lot, and I don't think I'm going to put that in the entire video. That's a lot. But we can definitely make it as high as possible. Let's see. What is realistic? Well, we're definitely working our way up there. Not too bad. Hey, there's another Zombination Nation person. Crazy. Jackie Ma, I don't know. Wow. There's actually a lot of people in my guild attacking on me. I love it. I love it. All right, so let's attack a few more times, and I think we're going to get to 300 and then call it a day, I think. About two more attacks to get in. Game time, boys. Game time. All right, so I actually, I'm going to get a little bit closer right here. I've been needing to get a new mic. That is on my list. B 
because that way I'll sound better for you guys. Because the computer mic, I'm going to be honest, it's not very good. Mm -mm. It's just not, it's not good really. I don't think it's really good. You guys probably don't think it's really good. Old mic was my phone, which was actually pretty nifty. It has a very good microphone on it, the iPhones. Very good. Alright, so here we go. I need to put some spitters down, then I'm going to have to throw down some infectors here just so I can get some more troops, because we are running low on drones. We ran out. Alright, so let's throw down another one right here. Were there any there? There weren't. It's all good. Alright, so the hospital's there. Infectors heading back. Get me some more drones. Thank you very much. Let's throw down another group right over here. Drone geyser. Right there. Boom. Stim them up. Did some damage. It was alright. It was pretty good. So we're working our way there. Uh, I'm going to throw down the biohazards here so they can take out those outlaws pretty handily. Took out the researcher thanks to that puddler right there. Not a spitter. Alright, so we're just about through this wall and straight over there. We, the puddler managed to get two shots off. Took out the commando. I love it. And there goes the biohazards and finishes them off. I love it. So we cleared it. Three stars. Not too shabby. Cursor was getting a little close. Somehow my iPad was controlling my cursor on the computer. Didn't really understand that. Alright guys, so let's do one more attack, then we'll check out. I can't hide it from myself. That's Berlin. What am I doing? Barcelona. Attack. You guys didn't get to see the standings. I didn't get to see the standings. It's going to be a surprise. See where we end up. So I'm actually going to take the biohazards, and this is going to be a speed attack. A speed attack. We're going to try to see how fast we can get through this. Let's hydrate. We must. Alright, here we go. Let's see how fast we can get through this. Uh oh, the dog is a barking. I hear him. I don't know if you guys do. Alright, another group going right here. We're sending four biohazards. They're just going to wipe that out quickly. Get another group going right here. Two more biohazards with the Titan up front and Infector not far behind. Where is the Titan going? I don't know. There we go. He's going where I want him now. Alright, so we're working on everything. I believe that I did throw it on the Infector, so we're getting some more drones. Infector, what are you doing? Go this way. See if I can flare him to the hospital. Where are those biohazards? They are. Let's throw down an Infector right here. Oh, I have reanimators too. I didn't see that. Alright, 39 drones to drop. Bang, bang. Biohazards galore. Take out those outlaws. Thank you very much. Throw down some more drones. Work on our way through this wall. Let's throw down the drone geyser right back here on these guys. Give them a little bit of a surprise. Once I get that stem Z up, boom, boom, of a bang. Managed to take out the researcher and the handyman. Took out the final lumberjack. We are just flying through. Let's throw down these four sprayers. Throw it on this hospital. We are just cruising, guys. Finish off that hospital. I think we're golden. We are good to go. Bop. There we go. We got it. That is three whole stars right there. Three. And we got a reanimator. I'll take it. I'm a fan of reanimators. They're pretty cool. Alright, so let's see where we stand in Barcelona. 27th place. Not too shabby. I think we'll get an uncommon pack and some coins. Nothing too special. Not really the biggest fan of that right there, but I think we'll have to deal with it and just take it. Alright, so I think that's about it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys later.